So guys, friction is a force which opposes the relative motion of any two surfaces. Now, till now you must be wondering that friction is something which really opposes the motion. So it means friction is always bad and it is not uh, having any advantage in our life. But guys, you are wrong. Because friction, because of friction, we have uh, various things um, in our life uh, possible. And because of friction, we are really able to do so many work, so many tasks. Won't you believe? Then just uh, look at your daily routine and find out things which you do from since morning to night. So if you really wake up, then you start maybe probably walking to your washroom. So walking. Now walking is really a very good advantage of friction. And why is it like, so just imagine you, uh, you're walking on, on tiles, right, on your floor, and you're able to do that. But imagine, can you walk on a floor of ice? Or maybe can you walk on any floor which is really slippery? No, you cannot do that. So you need something, some rough surface which has more friction and which can hold, which can hold your uh, food. And that's why you are able to walk, right? You're able to run, you're able to jog, you're able to do any such thing. That is only because of fresh. Now, after that, you may probably um, take your toothbrush and start uh, cleaning your teeth, teeth because you can hold a toothbrush. And why? Because you are able to hold, uh, hold that toothbrush because, because of the friction. Or maybe you, maybe you're taking baths, so you're rubbing soap on your body that is also because you can you can hold your soul and that too because of friction imagine uh, you are wet your body is wet and soap is slippery sometimes you might have seen might have felt that uh, soap gets slipped from your hands and that is because it has less friction so guys now do you believe now in the, excluding these things there are many advantages so if you have ever ever rode a bicycle or any two-wheeler so you probably have to stop sometimes so you need to apply brakes right and brakes are all only things which make uh, this uh, thing possible of coming to the rest otherwise you can keep on moving keep on moving but that's not practical right you need to stop when you and you need to start right so anything which is in motion uh, it stops because of friction now, uh, holding things, like if I'm holding this pen, that's because of um, friction. If I'm able to wear these spectacles, that's because of friction. Uh, so guys, you see friction is really a wonderful force. Now, if, you're, if I'm able to write, if I'm able to write on a paper, so writing also um, because you have friction, right? Now, rubbing palms. In winters, you must have seen, uh, it's, it's said that rub your palms and then you keep on your cheeks and then you feel warm. Right? This is what you do. Oh, it's, it's really cold. And that's, uh, so rubbing, you know, when you rub your hands, you see that you feel a bit of warm. That is because of friction. So friction is something which actually get converted into heat energy and that is why you really feel warm. You have ever light, lighten up a matchstick? Well, that's 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 only because of friction. So friction is something which, as we said, that it can convert into heat energy, and that heat energy is really um, um, uh, is is really responsible for lighting a matchstick. Now, after even after it has so many advantages, guys, it does have some. Cons, I mean, some disadvantages. Now, what are what are that? Uh, just now we look at the advantage where the friction get converted into heat energy. Now, this heat energy, you might have seen any any gadget or any any electronic device which is, which had been working for suppose one hour two hour. When you touch it, you'll feel really hot. Now, it means that some of the energy is actually getting converted into heat energy. That's also because of friction. So it generate heat, generates heat and it really destroys machines. Now, if you have to push a box 
and it, it's it and it has a lot of friction with the surface which is uh, on which it is moving then you because it, because it has a lot of friction you need to push it really hard imagine if it doesn't have to friction have any friction so it, it can just may uh, move um, uh, very easily so you need to apply more force to push bodies and then uh, when you fall sometimes like maybe you're riding bicycle and then you fall and you really lead uh, to rashes that's that's because of friction because your body uh, has friction with the surface on which you have fallen so next uh, since it is converting a lot of energy into heat, it means it has a wastage of energy, a lot of wastage, and that's why it reduces efficiency. And day by day, um, uh, you know, if it is converting a lot of energy into heat energy, it is basically um, um, destroying machines and it is really uh, uh, affecting the efficiency of vehicles. Now, the last one, uh, you might have seen, uh, why do, how can you walk? Or athletics or uh, sportmen, they do have spikes in their shoes, and those spikes are big uh, because uh, because they have to have friction with the surface, otherwise they may get slipped. Now, sometimes you must have seen you are wearing the same sh uh, pair of shoes like for more than three years, and you have seen that now uh, it doesn't have a great hold with the surface, and that's why you there are chances to get slipped uh, on the floor. As it means that it wear out your footwears. Wear out means uh, it really, it really uh, make your footwear smooth, and that's why you can slip. Now, so you that's uh, now since friction is force, which has so many pros, so many cons, so many advantages and disadvantages, and that is why in your textbook you have, must have seen the heading that friction is a necessary evil. So it is a necessary, but it is an evil too. So with this, I'm gonna end up this video because I want to meet you in the next video where we gonna talk about very interesting topic. Uh, so sometimes it is necessary to reduce friction to or, uh, because we don't we we want to avoid friction and we want uh, we want uh, we don't want friction to be part of that um, thing. That is why we want to decrease friction. But sometimes we really need to increase friction because we don't want to get slipped or something like that. So it means that we need to increase friction. We, we really need to decrease friction. And how can we do that? Well, that's what we're going to learn in the next video. I'll be seeing you there. Till then, thank you so much.